Why? Tell me why! Is this really what you want? Albus! Drop it, Hulk! Nothing's gonna get through to him! He's a heartless machine! We have to try! Fascinating. Is this how badly you wish to erase us? My god. Seem to break it. I told you we should have left alone. But you had to stick your oar in, didn't you? Matthew. Lecture me later, eh? I first things first. <sighs> You're impossible. Third-rate Mobius arsewipe. Made us bloody work for it. What was that? That thing at the end? What thing at the end? You mean the Ouroboros power? Nice touch, eh? <laughs> what I'm asking is why you felt the need to use it at all. The scrap was already falling apart. I mean, that was a last chance to, like, kapow, right? I had to make sure it's a good one. Leaves a bad taste, otherwise. The whole rest of the day. <sighs> Mobius track it, you know. The Ouroboros power. You need to keep a lid on it, like I keep telling you. It was only a little whiff. All fine in the end. We won, so what's the damage? Less of the lectures. The word you should have used is fewer. Grammar matters. You did it again. <sighs> Another day without any signals. Time to pack it in, then. Huh? After all our efforts, we've not met a single survivor from the city. Huh. You promised me back then, remember? That we'd find every last citizen. Well, I'm not stopping. I won't quit. Not until I've done just that. Let's move on. Tomorrow will be our lucky day. I can feel it.
see, the St. Omnia region we're in now. It's smack in the middle of Ionios, yeah? Yes, that assessment is correct. Right, so if we captured this area, couldn't we raid the other regions pretty much at will? This is the only place connected to the other four regions at once, right? Which means that conversely, it can also be attacked from all four sides. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. But I'll admit that it does have the strategic value that you ascribe to it. It's an undeniable fact that both Kevis and Agnes are desperate to gain control of this region. The positional advantage of having access to all other regions may make the attendant risks more palatable. I see, I see. All right, this will be a good place for a rest. Night has caught up with us. We had better make haste setting up camp. The sun's already hanging high in the sky, Matthew. Suppose I should thank you then for letting me sleep in. Sleeping on the ground? I've never seen anyone make it look quite so comfortable. I worry. Grandad and I did a lot of camping out, back when I was a kid, I mean. It don't bother me. What's that signal? Ping from a city iris. Come on, hey! Oh. Judging by the wounds, it probably wasn't Mobius. Probably monsters. Caught him unawares. I'm sorry. This is my fault. If I woke you up, we might have made it. Oh. 
It isn't your fault, eh? I shouldn't have been dozing like a div. We could have helped you, friend. I'm sorry. Animal. The right flank's been scoured pretty clean. Only thing left is the Faronis in the rear. Right. Back to the main unit, then... <gasps> Kavesi? It's a miracle there's any left standing. What's wrong with him? Why is he unarmed? <laughs> Not even a blade or nothing. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> <laughs> Make it quick. We can't afford to waste time on a rug like him. Huh? Explosions? A battle? Yes. It would seem that someone's fighting up ahead. Remnants? It could be. The sounds. And the shaking. I'd say it's rather major. <sighs> hey, Matthew! I'll go check it out! Don't be a hero. If the skirmish is nothing to do with us... Leave it well alone, yeah? I know the drill. Yeah, not holding my breath. <sighs> what is that? That weapon. Can't be a blade. Mop up. New armament. All went as planned. <laughs> and now it's curtains. Shut up! Whoa. Flipping close one! I thought you said you knew the drill. Hold back. It looks to be a feud between colonies anyway. Over there. Is it just those two left? No one else? No one. Mutual destruction. 
the battle has already come and gone. Then why are they still fighting? It's just who they are. Nothing for us to get involved with. Pull back. Mobius will notice. Oh, come on! Matthew! I'm not just gonna stand aside. They're only kids. I'll put an end to it. I have to. Mobius are always present for the aftermath. Then that Mobius is getting a socking. Both of them? Then I'll make it a twofer. Oh, oh to hell with it. <sighs> All right, break it up. The hell are you two playing at? You want to scrap? You scrap with me. I told you to cut it out! <laughs> yeah, and you! <laughs> Phenomenal. Now you've gone and done it. I guess words ain't getting through to him. Odd. You've such a way with words. If they won't listen... I'll make him listen with my fists. Phenomenal. Persistence. <laughs> Chill out, will you? What are you, goon? I was beginning to think you'd never ask. Uh -huh. I'm Matthew, from the city. And this is A. City? Huh? I guess you lot would probably think of us as enemies. But we're your allies. In a sense. Our allies? Our real enemy... It isn't each other. Huh? huh? They're here. Right on cue. Nice of our real enemies to drop by. You just sit tight while we take care of them, right? Trust me on this one. <gasps> hey now. What do you think you're doing? The show was just getting good. And you fully screwed up our wager to boot! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I spoil your fun? You really are a bunch of sickos, you lot. He doesn't seem like a soldier. Who are you? <laughs> My iris. Check it and weep. What in the... Oh, oh, oh. A city refugee? Mobius Hunter? Mobius Hunter? You what? Wait, is that what they call us these days? No idea. I don't recall hunting any. Just cleaning up the mess you always end up making, bailing you out of trouble. Exactly. Okay, anyway. Those two kids over there, they're in our custody now. Custody, you say? <laughs> You sound like you think you can take us on! This mighty pairing of Mobius 2 and all! Obviously. After all, gotta live up to our new nickname. <laughs> Alrighty. We just gotta smash the core, and the jobs are good. He isn't paying attention to you. It's your chance to strike on my mark 
I don't normally stoop to this. Such duplicity is beneath me. Stop in the back! What a dirty brute! Just one thing after another, innit? I'm sure you're feeling pleased with yourself. But I wish you'd spare a thought for me as well. You realize, all this takes a toll on me. I know, I know. There we go. What I tell you, one of us should have watched them. You also told me you wanted us to secure as much food as possible. So, ideas? Oh, very well. I'll handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, time out. That'll be enough out of you two. Your fighting days are over. What? The Mobius, or uh, I guess you'd call them the consoles, right? Well, they're dust in the wind. The flame clocks are in pieces. And your iris clocks, they're gone, aren't they? Huh? <gasps> You're done. No need to fight anymore. No need to take life. Or fear its loss. You're not serious. Give it a couple of days for it to sink in. Your life stopped draining. And that means you don't have to fight. All you're gonna need now is a bite to eat. Go on. Wow, aren't we stubborn? It's your loss. Why did you do that? Huh? I was so close! I was so close to finally coming home! I'm not sure I follow. My offering! I was going to give my life for my comrades killed by this filth! If I could just make it home, it would mean something! That... that's the only thing I've ever wanted. To fight. To come home. And you... you... took it. <laughs> this fight of yours, who was it that forced it upon you? <gasps> Think about it. You have all the pieces. Nicole and... Glimmer, right? You're both starving. 
Can't think straight on an empty tongue. Eh? was expertly balanced. Well done. You've both made great strides. But a real battle is unlike anything else. You can't just hope for the best. Come at me. Mighty strike! Uh. 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 Well? Well, don't give me that. That was cruel, Grandad. He's right. Countering the moment we unleash our power is just rude. When your concentration is lacking, the body and spirit drift apart. Only when you've mastered the power of Ouroboros will you find balance. Nay, you will become one with your very selves. Uh, so this incredible power of yours, anyone ever actually been able to master it? Nay. Knew it. Even you fell short, Grandad. Mm. My parents, however, it is said that they were a breath away from success. The ones in the photo? Our great granddad and grandma, right? That'll have been a proper while ago. I bet that's why. Everyone in the city must think we're a bunch of clowns. What? You think so? Yeah, like, get with the times. We're stuck with these wibbly Ouroboros powers. Everyone's rocking those sweet new amps. It really opens up the options for your blade. So yeah, nobody uses the Ouroboros stuff anymore. Nobody thinks we're clowns, Matthew. Wowee, those guys are some real sticklers for tradition, eh? That's about the extent of it. Yeah, but that's the same as calling us clowns. Hmm. It is not. The very reason the city exists is because those who gained the power of Ouroboros confronted Mobius long ago. And it's because of them that lots of soldiers were freed from the system, banded together, and then founded the city. Right? Mm. We must have heard it dozens of times now, eh? Other kids got lullabies. Wish we could have traded places. <laughs> mm. I haven't forgotten about how Mum and Dad died in the last battle against Mobius 15 years ago. Mm. They gave us this. This time of peace we get to enjoy. And you must never forget that, you hear me? The only true end is the moment that you give up. Yeah. No! Huh? So much for our time of peace. This is where you were. Are you fighting with your granddad again? You can't do that. You promised. You said you'd play piano for us after the nap. Ah, sorry. Of course. I'll be with you in just a minute. A minute now! Oh, yes, all right. I'm at your behest. <sighs> what song would you like? Gower Plane! 
Tamora with you! Bring her with Chaos Ultimate! All of them? All of them! If I must, from the top then. Yay! You can relax. I'm on it. I'll protect her, I swear. <clears throat> um... Mm hmm Well, um, so... Matthew's fine. <sighs> Matthew, she's gone. Huh? Who's what now? That girl. The soldier from Agnes. Glimmer. Seriously? When did it happen? It'll have been shortly before dawn. Five o'clock, give or take. Oh yeah, five, huh? Hey, you could have said something. You would have stopped her. Well, no shit. This is her personal matter. Even the most impassioned speeches may fail to persuade. Sounds like loser talk. I believe you said something to that effect. Uh, did not. Did too. Like yesterday? I guess words aren't getting through to them. Hey? You said it. Uh, uh, uh... Let's just get going. But where to? After her, of course. Glimmer. If she meets with the colony, she's stuffed. Um, how stuffed, exactly? Might find out soon enough. Uh, but not if we can help it. We going or what? <sighs> Matthew, any clues as to where she might have gone? Huh? How should I know? Let's just comb the area, yeah? Leave no stone unturned. <sighs> if we assume she's trying to return to her own troops, she'll likely have headed northwest. That whole area is Agnian territory. It's very probable that a colony would be stationed there. Save for perhaps your hair, there's little need to comb anything. Did you follow that, Matthew? Wow. Hey, you are so clever. Truly, your intellect knows no bounds. So, we go northwest then. You too, come on. You'll be safer if you stick with us. <sighs> All right, yeah, I know that might sound rich coming from me, but would you please just take my word for it for now? All right. Looking out at it like this, you really gotta admit this world is crazy huge. Matthew, the world truly is vast. Far more than you'll ever know. And filled with mystery. And while we're not currently in the position to travel it at our leisure, one day soon, you should let your feet walk it from end to end. You would stand to gain much from the experience. Who knows? You may even discover a new land for the people of the city to call home. Huh. You were a rover then, eh? <sighs> you know, I may well have been. Why is everything you say so damn elusive? Wait! Huh? What is it, eh? Monster! Do you think the girl is fine? Unclear. I'd say for now you should probably worry about yourself. Ha! <laughs> this is great! Gimme gimme. Let me have a bash at this fella! Don't get too heated up, Matthew. This is the time for a synergy move. Ah, oh, yeah, good shout! You better follow my lead, though. Huh. Not if I can help it. Boom! 
Boom. Hardly. That there was what you'd call gratuitous. The poor thing was within a set tree of its life. This old chestnut. I was quick. We won't get rumbled. You're aware we took out two Mobius yesterday. We could well be the targets of a manhunt as we speak. Then we knock them down some more. There's no guarantee that you'll keep winning. Nah, but we will. Think back on what you know. Not all Mobius are like those two. Huh. Huh. Hmm? What's up? No. Nothing. Huh? Do you have something to get off your chest? You don't have to hold your tongue. We were the ones who extricated you. You may hold us fully accountable. Mm. Huh? These gloves? You want them? No, not what I meant. That art. What was it? Uh, which art? Oh! You mean the Ouroboros power? Is that it? Ouroboros. First time you've seen it. Nothing weird about being curious. It was just... wow. But hold on a moat. You've got blades and arts too. Pretty much the same thing. Not me. I can't... Can't what? He means he can't summon a blade. Surely you must have realized given the way he's been fighting. I hear it can be an issue with some soldiers. Uh, still, you know, all part of life's rich tapestry. No big deal, am I right? Uh, hmm? I couldn't take them. With these. Not like you did. No way. I don't follow. Uh... He's talking about us defeating the Mobius. Hmm. Oh, now I get it. I think you got it all wrong, though. What? You have it now, inside you both. This power. Hmm? Remember, back when I freed you with a burst of light. Anyone who gets touched by that light inherits the Ouroboros power. That's the way we got it, too. What, really? Uh-huh. With a little work, I'll be able to draw out its true power. And then, in theory, I'll be able to free others without even having to destroy their flame clocks. Well, anyway, the rest's all up to you. It's easy. You'll get the hang of it in no time. The thing about Ouroboros power is, it was created so we could smash up Mobius' cores. And those are what? They're shiny chest what's it. You destroy one, and it takes him clean out. See, my granddad's pops, he used that power as soon as it came to be. And made it so that us city folk would hand it down through the generations. Granddad's? And what's a pops? Oh, sorry. Long story short, all this business went down about 70 years ago, or thereabouts. Right. Hey, Nicole. I'm gonna be frank with you here. <clears throat> Don't think yourself a burden because you ain't one. We've all got our strengths and weaknesses. No big deal. Yeah? Um, excuse me. What's up, Nicole? Well, um... Come on, man. Enough with the umming and ahhing. Spit it out. Sorry. Matthew, you could have chosen your words more carefully. Ah, uh, uh, wait, uh, scratch that. I just meant that you shouldn't be afraid to speak your mind. I'd like to make some adjustments to the operation of my backpack arms. 
There was an issue with mobility in that last battle against the monster. I'm sure there'll be more fighting ahead, and I don't want to slow you guys down. Well now. Is that all? Relax, no worries. We can take a load off somewhere and let you tinker. There's an open space over there. It should serve for a rest spot. Oh, uh, thanks very much. And hey, it came out weird earlier, but I really meant it. No need to be shy with us or hold anything back. You're not our hostage or prisoner. You know that, right? Um, yeah. Thank you. I'm quite surprised. He's more flexible than I thought. He comprehends his situation, does his best to adapt. Oh, yeah? I find him kind of, I don't know, meek. And he's not much of a chatty fella. All in life's rich tapestry, no? Yeah. People are people. Not everyone's going to have a personality as straightforward as yours. Uh, you taking the mick? No. Call it praise. Anyway, the real issue is our other friend. Hey. Matthew? I guess you foresaw all this, didn't you? Right from the start. Yes, that you needed to experience it. I'll take the blame. Oh, man. Anyway, we'd better go and find her before the gal gets herself. Yes. farther till comms range. <gasps> Iris clocks, they're gone, aren't they? You're done. No need to fight anymore. No need to take life or fear its loss. No way. I it's true. <gasps> Engines. Levinses? They're... not Kvassi Lovenesses. What's that gear? From the city. Like the ones we studied in the textbook? <gasps> Uh-uh. An Agnian soldier. Out here all alone, eh? She's probably scouting out territory. We'll capture her for now, get her unit's location. Don't want to be getting into fights with colonies right now. enough. You better stop resisting, or I will end you. Uh, you're... What's wrong, Panacea? 
Is there a problem? Ah, oh, teacher. An Agnes soldier. So young. Teacher, she seems to be one of them. Them? The clockless. Hmm. No flame clock. So she's out of the loop, huh? Who could have done it? Strange. What do you want to do, Shulk? Uh, A, you're totally sure we're going the right way. The region beyond here is under Agnian control. If we posit she wanted to rejoin her people, there's a high chance she passed through here. All right, I trust you. Oh. What's up? Signs of battle. Not a full-scale army engagement. Something smaller. Huh. There's a reading, but it's faint. Which means... Refugees from the city. Perhaps. That or the girl could have been the source. Huh. Here. Definitely hers. So, she really was here? No husk, though. It likely means she was taken. You think maybe she killed them all? Unlike the soldier kids, we don't leave a trace after we kick the bucket. That's not possible. Given the evidence, they had the numerical advantage. Right, okay. So we follow them. If it is survivors from the city, they might know something about Nael. Indeed. I'm curious too. Hey. High time for a break. Got it. Oh. I feel kind of guilty for freeing you from the cycle like that. It's fine. No, but I just can't stand to see it. You guys fighting all the time. <sighs> You're not really great with strangers, are you, pal? Mm. Do you wish you could go back to your colony? If I did, I'd have to fight again. <laughs> We're in the same boat. That's so. Well then, I guess that makes us friends, eh? Friends? <sighs> I wonder how she is. Release her. Huh? But teacher... She's already been freed from the flame clock. And that makes her a friend. Friend? All right, then. I'd like you to answer a few questions for me. May I? <gasps> First, we'll need your name, and the colony you belonged to. Hmm. <laughs> so your name is Glimmer, Colony Gamma. Assigned to the field support platoon, yes? <laughs> That's far. Gamma's territory is nowhere near here. So what are you doing out here all alone? Tell me who destroyed it. <gasps> Your colony's clock, I mean. That isn't military intel. Surely you could tell me that, no? Weirdos. Two of them. Weirdos. They waded straight into our battle with Kevis. And then... And the consuls? 
You're saying they took out Mobius. That's not too shabby. Teacher's level. What were these two like? One had silver hair, blue garb, cut the clock clean through with a red sword. Right. And the other? Some guy didn't seem too bright. Black clothes, used knuckles. He's the one that defeated the consoles with the power of some weird light. Hang on a sec. You're serious about that? That guy? Did his hair kind of look a bit like this? Uh, mm. It's Matthew. Has to be him. That's mad. So he's still alive. Matthew, eh? Ah, oh, yes. He's a guy from the city. We were in procurement together. If someone's been beating up Mobius, I can't think of anyone else but him. He's that strong, is he? Huh? You people, you're from the city? Quiet. Did I say you could ask questions? Ugh. No, it's all right. You're correct. We do have citizens among us. But there's a bit more to it. We are the Liberators. We seek out survivors from the city. Survivors? That's right. In order to protect this world. Oh. Hmm. Quake? Wrong. There's some kind of giant entity on the move. Over there. <gasps> A Foronis! This late at night? Which colony is it? It's odd. It should have a crew of soldiers, but doesn't. It looks like it's heading to the east. After it, Matthew. Yeah! And clean out. Nothing that'll leave a scar. Indeed. Let's find her. She'll likely be heading for a colony. They'll erase her on sight. Damn it. More babysitting. Told you we should have given her the full lowdown. I'm sorry. I thought it'd be too much for her to take in. I was hoping to ease her into it. <sighs> uh, teacher! Well now. This isn't good. Panacea, rouse the others now. Ready for battle! On it! I lost my colony in the fight with Colony 5. I've been reconnoitering solo. Beyond here, there's a camp. I... I'm telling you! I'm Glimmer! 
Peter from Gamma. I'm not your enemy. Listen to oh, me. Oh, but you are, pet. Huh? Soldiers who've lost their flame flocks have outlived their purpose. My Lord Consul. You want to know why? Because you're no longer good for anything. Oh, big part. You gave me the enemy's location, didn't you? Then I suppose you were good for something. But your fate is erasure. You're not! What are you doing? Move! Are you okay? This is what I wanted to protect you from. Now you see, this is the true nature of the consuls. Who are you? This wasn't the compact. Compact? The one with Zed. We vowed a ceasefire. Not to interfere until matters were resolved. Ah, yes. I guess Lord Zed did order us not to get involved or some such. But that was before. Before two of my comrades were slain without remorse. Now things are personal! They're fighting. Get ready! There! But what are those other guys all about? Never seen them before. We can talk about it later. We're joining the fray. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Who are you guys? Sorry, man. Stealing your show. I'm Matthew, and this is A. Oh, and he's Nickel. We had a run-in with your friend Glimmer over there. Couldn't just let us play, you know? Wait. So then you're... Huh. So this is the so-called Udabonis power. Now I see. So that's how you were able to kill a Mobius, is it? You ain't seen nothing yet, bub. How about I give you a demo from up close? That's an awfully mean premise you're giving me there. I did something to you. I'm the faintest idea why you'd be so mad at little old me. Well, maybe you don't, but I sure as hell do. I hate you so much. A thousand deaths wouldn't bring me peace. <laughs> Matthew, easy now. Rage blinds you. We've been through that one before. Thing is, anyone who acts all high and mighty like that needs a bruising. Wow, big words. I'd love to see you try. And I've got just the ticket to make it real interesting. What now? Oh. Another for <laughs> What the hell is that? Gotta be shitting me. On 
glimmer. Kör fort! I like your attitude, kiddo. Hmm? Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll show my finger up for you. Fifteen years ago feels like a dream now. Like it was an eternity away. You might never have to use those again. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? The Queen of Keves, though, she's still not free. What, you think our fight's still not over? Can't things stay like this? The soldiers, they're still fighting. Right at this moment. Personally, if things could just stay this way, I'd be happy. You serious? If Granddad could hear you, he'd lay you out flat. Yeah, I know what he'd say. The soldiers are the roots from which we grew. But still, we are who we are, right? And them and the Mobius, they're a whole different story. No reason we can't coexist. Nah, don't give me that. Come on. There's no need to fight if we just stay out of each other's way. It's worked out fine for the past 15 years. I guess for you, it's all or nothing, huh? Huh? Those children are everything to me, you know? What choice have I got? Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll throw my finger off for eight. <sighs> you okay? Y yeah. Can you stand? <sighs> Nico, ready to fight? You too, Glim. Hop, hop. Huh? There'll be time for thinking later. For now, it's down to brass tacks. Shopping! And as for you, kiddo. Me? Oi, who are you calling kiddo? You take out the Mobius. All in sync! What? In sync? Let's go! Hey! The hell? <laughs> Good. Gave us a hard time. 
Nice timing there, Rex. Thanks for that. Everyone knows the real hero steps up in the third act. <sighs> Still, something's off here. Hmm. Double the flame clock. But no soldiers inside. There has to be more to it, boss. I've heard a rumor about how one of the Mobius likes to create all kinds of experimental flame clocks. Blinker, mind looking into that for me? I can do that. I'll dispatch a platoon. We'll see if they can get a handle on it. Lovely. All right, so... Who's this, then? City refugee, it seems. Well, that explains the Ouroboros power. And this soldier? Who released him? <sighs> My day keeps getting better. To business. Tell me, Shulk, how'd Mobius get the jump on you? Because of her. We'd meant to protect her, but she went and gave away our position. Ugh. Hang on. You wanted to get back to your friends, huh? Ugh. Even if it meant getting us all killed. Uh, no! Don't try to play the innocent with me. <sighs> You were well aware of the consequences. But you decided to ignore that inconvenient fact. Enough. Stop! Hmm? I am not letting the enemy get into my head! Manners! I didn't ask for any of this! It was almost time for my homecoming! My comrades and I... We made it all this way! I fought! So snuffing hard! <laughs> Listen, two things. First of all, that there was your enemy. And second, let it go. Your friends are gone. Um, so... What's the plan from here, then? It's pretty clear you're not our enemies from the way stuff's panning out, but... It's all a bit... Eh. Right? Don't give me that. Obviously we're teaming up, eh, hey, mate? Dylan! Mate! You were alive! <laughs> that was about my reaction, too. Glad you're still with us, Matt. I'll set us up some tents. We can all debrief each other there. Ah, oh, now we're talking. I haven't slept under shelter for yonks. First light, we'll make a start for our base. If it's all right with you, I'd feel a lot safer if we traveled together. I don't really mind. What do you think? <clears throat> all right, then. Great to hear. So, what's this base thing? And who are you guys? Feeling kind of lost here. I'll tell you all about it on the way. It's not like we're in any rush. Right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Fine then. Great. Well, we made it. We should be safe here for the time being. You can use that tent over there. We've had it set up especially for you. Thank you. We'll do just that. Phew! Be a nice change to finally get to Kip under a roof. <sighs> mm. Look, everyone here knows what's what. 
Nobody's gonna bully you or anything. Gee, thanks. Very reassuring. Not. All right, break it up now. How about we grab a bite and unwind, eh? Don't need you running around hangry. I'm not really hungry. Uh. Try to get some rest. We'll take the guard shifts. We'll be departing for base in the morning. Don't go the whole night without sleep. Noted. All right then. We'll see you later. That was harsh, boss. Hmm? You didn't have to talk to her like that. Not cool. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> you don't want her with us, is that it? I'm sure she'd see sense if you just gave her a chance. What's the problem? Hmm. Is it because it feels too close to home? You always have to be right on the mark. Very well spotted, though. Linka. I knew it the moment I saw her. She looks like them. Exactly. I know, right? Someday I knew it'd happen, but not exactly the best timing, is it? It's the same deal with him, you know. What, Shulk? Really? Really, really. Panacea said she had a hunch. Strike me. <sighs> I guess we're bound by fate, like it was meant to be. Nice gear you've got. <gasps> the joints move without a hitch. And listen to the power of that motor. It's just a tool for destruction, death. Nothing to be praised. Good point. Uh, Whoa. That's an Equities Pulse Driver assembly. No wonder it's so pleasing to the ear and melded with a cylinder. Perfect soldering technique. Hey, stop that. Did you make it yourself? Uh, yeah. Well... I've always liked tinkering with machines as well. I can't help myself. Earlier. Mm -hmm. You tried to help us, right? Using this. Oh. A tool is merely a tool. It does as the user chooses. Wouldn't you agree? Uh. Be it to kill others or to help them. You're on. A war wound from way back when. Then Riku here made me this one, but... But! What, please? Manner of expression seem pointed. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad at all. Just a little squeaky. That's same as saying bad. Riku had to make from hodgepodge material. Do not nitpick. <clears throat> hey, um, would you mind if I take a look? Thought so. Here. You're missing a shim between these bits. That'll be why it creaks. Hang on, I should have one here somewhere. Again. Not as if there's anywhere left to run. I, uh. I think it was good. What happened? Huh? Fighting against you. I don't understand. If we hadn't fought, we wouldn't be here now, like this. Here isn't exactly a sparking picnic. People would bully me. What? Because I can't summon a blade. 
makes me kind of useless. Hmm. But all those bullies, they're dead now. Yeah, more good for you. But that's a weight off you. Someone like me. How'd I survive? Nobody else did. Uh, hmm. But now, I can make something of myself. That's how it feels. Honestly, just knowing who I'm meant to be fighting, that's the biggest thing of all. Nicole. Another thing I'm happy about. Hmm? Back then, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. You have got to be joking. A little squirt like you can never take me down. <laughs> that day, we became friends. Uh, you're an idiot. Wow. Oi, oi. Lovely morning today. Perfect weather. Wrong. This cloud cover practically guarantees rain. Morning, everyone. Hello? Whoa! Did I just hear a hello from you? What next? A rain of brogs? Plain rain's bad enough. Damn, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were warming up to me. <sighs> I was forgetting the real idiot among us. There you go. It's cool. This is progress. Morning, all. Feeling refreshed and ready to take on the world? Yeah, thanks to you guys. Haven't slept this well in ages. Don't mention it. It's going to be quite a trek to our base, though. Yeah, speaking of, where is this base of yours, exactly? Once we climb that cliff and follow the road, you'll be able to see for yourself. Ha, oh, sweet! Can't wait to see what it's like. How about you, Glimmer? Not interested. Ah, uh, <laughs> still being a sulk, eh? I'm a little curious, I think. Yeah, at a boy, Nicole. See that glimmer? You could stand to learn from this one. Can someone shut this guy up? He'll grow on you. We have some refugees from the city, by the way, back at base. You should let them know you're fine once we've arrived. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. All right, we're all done with the banter. This road's not going to walk itself. Yeah, let's make tracks. Smell nice. Guess I won't see you for a while. Come and visit. Yeah, I will, I promise. I want to hear you play again. With that old piano, Tricky. Then bring one with you. Uh... We'll all miss you guys. It's been a long time coming. Place is full up. Don't forget to call us, soon as you arrive. Yeah. A second city. We'll make it greater than you can ever imagine. Them's fighting words. <laughs> Oh! 
This it? Yes. The Liberator's base of operations. All the city survivors we find, we keep safe here. Well then, once again, welcome to our headquarters, to Colony 9. Huh? Colony 9? Like the one from Kevis? No, not that one. This is the original Colony 9. Though I guess that won't mean anything to you one way or another. Huh? I don't get it. Well, anyway, point is, it's not like a Kevesi or Agnian colony. That's all you need to know right now. Uh... Okay. I'll go on ahead to the command center and have your quarters prepared. If you'll excuse me. Right. See you around then, Matthew. Let's have a proper catch up once things are settled down a bit. Will do. Cheers. Right, sure. Let's see how the gang's doing. We can give you a little tour along the way. Yes, that's a good idea. Panacea, can I ask you to take point? Right, you heard the man. Try to keep up. The plaza's kind of the heart of Colony 9. Anything you're looking for, you can more or less find it here, be it extra supplies or a quick bite to eat. Wow, it's pretty bustling. Reminds me of the city. Well then, would you like to take a little look around? Is that okay? We're not in a hurry or anything. You go and have your stroll. I'll be waiting for you over there, past the plaza. Speak to me when you're done browsing. All right, then. Don't mind if we do. Let's go have a shifty, guys. You all done, then? Sure. Sorry you had to... Okay. Then let's move swiftly on. The city folks I saw actually look pretty happy to be here, huh? It's good to see. They're our fellow liberators now, after all. It's only natural we'd support one another. Ah, oh, well, thanks for that. I mean it, thank you. Hey, having more helping hands is pretty welcome from our side, too. Hey, I'm seeing these tents all over the place. You got some proper buildings here. Wouldn't it make more sense to live inside those? You'd think, but they're falling apart inside. We've got a policy to avoid living somewhere that might cave in on you. Hmm. Still, feels like a waste. Oh, that contraption. It's a gem crafting furnace. Pretty antique one. Yeah, it's been out of commission for ages. At this point, it's pretty much just scrap. Oh, I see. Right, this is where I leave you. This is the command center. It's where the captains convene, where we plan our strategies and manage affairs. The nerve center of the liberators, you could say. Well met, everyone. I'm happy to inform you that quarters have been arranged for Matthew and his associates. Great. Cheers for that. Allow me to show you the way. Thanks, that'd be great.
What? Never seen a field? No. Those guys, they're Kavesi and Agnian soldiers, aren't they? They were. Teacher and the others freed them. look like they died in combat. All the husks around here are whipped thin. You think they starved? Maybe. With this much wildlife around, though? Most things around these parts are poisonous. Not really edible. Well, there's castle supplies. Don't they get those? You think they got raided, maybe? Doubt it. Enemies would have mopped them up. No sign of blade wounds. <sighs> For whatever reason, Intentional or not, these people were abandoned. Local fauna aside, with this much fresh water, they could have easily farmed. There's so many ways they could have kept themselves alive. Thing is, though, fighting's all these guys know. Yeah, but... You know, they're not like us. Nobody taught them what could be. It's not as simple as plant some seeds, wait for the harvest. We're teaching them the ins and outs, as you can see. We're showing them there's more to life than battle. You didn't do this in the city. No. We did do that stuff. We did, but... Hmm? hmm? Show me already! This world of peace where nobody has to die! Make it come true! And these will be your tents. Feel free to use all the facilities here at your leisure. We'll make the most of it. Thanks for everything. It's alright. All in a day's work. All right, then. It's a bit early to turn in still. So what say we have a little nose around? Ah, that reminds me. Riku said he had some business with you. Would you mind stopping by his place later? Huh? Who's Riku again? Oh, right. You've not met him yet, Matthew. He's a knock-on mechanic working with us liberators. Quite a skilled one at that. Huh. If you say so. So, where's he at? There's an abandoned house near the entrance to the colony. A friend of mine used to live there. Riku's commandeered it lately. I hear he wants to establish his own workshop there. A workshop? Oh, that tickled your fancy, did it, Nicole? Yeah, I really want to check out his setup. Can we go now? <laughs> sure thing, kid. Let's go and say hi before we bunk down. Righty-ho. I'll go have a chat with Dylan. I want to ask how all the city folk have been getting on. Got any plans yourselves? I think I'll pay a visit to the command center. I want to see what Shulk's up to. And I'll... um... I don't know. What should I do? If you're bored, you can come with me. I need to pick up a few things at the market. Yeah. Um... okay. Right then. Catch you in a bit. Right. So you haven't seen Niel? I'm really sorry, Matthew. It was hard enough for the six of us to escape. But hey, it wasn't just our group. I heard Naomi's group made it out as well. There's a chance she's with them. Naomi? It seems Caleb tried to stop them, but they weren't able to hear him. We think they were headed towards Fornis. Except he said he was too far away to see who was actually with her. Right. This is Niel, though. Bet she's with him. A-OK. -okay. She's like you, mate. 
Hard as nails and twice as tough. Uh-huh. You've got it so much easier, you know. At least yours is well behaved. You're jealous? That's a surprise. That's not what I mean. Nothing about this is easy. There's this awkward distance between us. I'm just lucky that things panned out this way. Is that right? It's all about how to handle things in the moment. That's the crux of it. Or at least I think so. Hmm. You were independent from a young age, right? Yeah, well, apart from Gramp sticking to me like glue. But I supported myself. That explains it then. The way you think of her. As being somehow different from you. The paths you've walked are too unfamiliar. No? Hmm. Try talking to her again. But be yourself. Actually... Hmm? Perhaps she'll be the one who comes to you. Hmm. Hey, Shulk and Rex! The search party's returned! Huh? You've not found a single person. There were clear signs of combat, that's it. But, as I've informed you, we've not been able to confirm any survivors. There were no husks present either, so I'd expect it to have been monsters. But even then, can't see the whole group crook in it. And the guy's unit should have been the cream of the crop. Hmm. Any case, we brought back anything we could find on the scene. Most objects belong to the unit, but there were also a few oddities. Namely? According to Charon, things that may have potentially belonged to city refugees. Oh. This? This belonged to Nael. Tell me! L like I said, the location of the SOS. Is that true? You better not be lying. Matthew! It is, I'm not. It was with everything else on the ground by a tree. Oh no. Nael. Matthew, this Nael, she a relative of yours? She's my little sister. I've been looking for her for so long. Right. Hey, Linka, where was that emergency transmission coming from? According to the search team, somewhere in the vicinity of Ragwell Lake. Oi, stop right there. You're not seriously planning to head out there alone? Uh, yeah. This is my problem. Nobody else's. I've got to see it for myself. Ragwell Lake is quite a distance from here. I'd strongly recommend that you at least take some kind of escort. You don't get it. I finally have a lead. If whoever attacked the search party is still there, all the more reason for me to go and rescue her. All right, all right. Keep your shorts on. Nobody's telling you no here. We were planning to head there as well, in fact. A whole search party taken out is no trivial matter. Sorry. I didn't mean to go off on you. No need. We don't really have the luxury of time, it's true. Then I suppose it's time to use the ether slide. Ether slide? Take a look over here. An ether slide is, well, put simply, it's a method of conveyance that uses the flow of ether for propulsion. You can think of it as sliding along a wire made of ether. Using an ether slide would get us pretty close to Regwell Lake. Teacher and Riku develop this technology together. Amazing or what? Yes, it's really impressive. The technology is fascinating. 
<laughs> if you're so curious about it, would you mind lending me a hand? Absolutely. Let me give you the necessary materials. Hmm. What odd ether crystal structure? The ether in these was transformed due to the effects of the black fog. I call them black shards. So they only form where there's black fog? That's right. They're pretty rare, and all the more valuable for it. That said, we need them when building the ether amplifiers used to project the wires. Got it. Right. That'll do for exposition. Let's get to crafting the equipment. Yeah? Can't wait. What is this place? Looks older than Colony 9 by far. To be honest with you, it's a super ancient ruin. And when I say super, I mean ultra mega ancient. Yeah? Buildings made of stone. That's pretty primitive, all right. Hey now, it's primitive buildings like these that are still standing today. Admittedly, there's not as much left standing as when I saw it the last time. But still, you can feel the magnificent weight of history, right? Huh. Suppose. Wow. Tough crowd. Hmm, I guess it figures. No traces of Ouroboros power being used. Huh. Plenty of footprints, though. Although, they seem to all be from search party boots. Nothing else at all. Gotta be some trace of the refugees. Oh, there's something all right. But it's weird. Weird how? There are tracks leading up to here, but nothing to suggest that anyone left. So, do we think they were done in? <laughs> oh, sorry. <sighs> this week. Are we bringing those people with us? <sighs> oh. 
Drop it, Nail. Matthew! You know why, surely. Yeah, but... Some of our folk were soldiers. Spare a thought for them, yeah? Makes no sense. Nail. Haven't we done enough? We could have just kept to ourselves, but we're still doing this, and now Kyra's dead. <sighs> Niall, you here? Why in the dark? Go away. With or without Mobius, nothing will change. In the end, people always kill people. Those soldiers were still part of the cycle. I bet they were controlled. Doubt it. No red irises. Savages. They kill Kyra just to add on a measly few extra days. Come on. That's worst case. Matthew. Always in fantasy land. What? You can't keep every bloody person happy. How can you not understand it's impossible? The only true end is the moment you give up. Isn't that what Grandad taught us? Then show me already. This world of peace where nobody has to die. Make it come true. You think you could do that, do you? You think you've got what it takes? I... I... Well, I don't. I'm barely holding on. You hear me? <sighs> we can't yet be sure that she's dead. Even the footprints. The search party's little skirmish could be wholly unrelated to this. In my head, I get it, yeah. Except, in my heart of hearts, I bloody hate this. You hate what? These stupid bodies we have. If only we turned into husks, the same way that soldiers do. But no, we vanish without a trace. No evidence, nothing. I understand your unease, but keep heart. I know, I know. You fellas, can I help you? Food's up. Saved you some. Come on. Everyone's having a blast. I'm not depressed or anything. <laughs> oh, I know you're not. That's not what I was implying. We're having a little shindig. Finally, a moment to breathe. Matthew. I don't suppose you'd mind telling us about your sister, what happened to Niall, and so on. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to force you. No, it's fine. All right. It happened on the day the city fell. When I came to, I was all cuts and bruises. Back then, A was the one that nursed me back to life. Found me while traveling, apparently by pure chance.
I see. That's why. It's not just that. It's him too. The Mobius bastard. I'll wring his neck with my bare hands. I swear it. You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> so why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ontos was meant to stand somewhere between, forming the Trinity Processor. It all adds up to me. I see. Does Matthew know? So about you and Alpha, what happened? How did you split apart? It was unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains? As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk, but Origin, it's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core. I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. Ontos was the Arbiter. And thus, was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. My original, he was shaped by Klaus, and shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that has left is just a machine, and machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place, debris of the past, and the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him, redundant. His conclusion, that only new life, that of the people of the city, ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha and chose to leave for a new world, shepherding the citizens along with him, while erasing the old world in his wake. However, En's intrusion caused something of a setback. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they compose me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. So, here's what this conscience or whatever is saying, then. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, he needs a body to inhabit. Yes, like how Zamza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. What's this? This wind! Over by the lake! I've come to fetch you, Matthew. <gasps> come. It's time to go.
Are you all right, Nael? I'm fine. <sighs> what were those things all about? They were giving me Mobius scrap vibes, but they weren't the same. Matthew! What happened? Ah, oh, hey, Oren. It's fine. We're all good. Was it Mobius? Nah. Some new kind of breed of monster. Took them down, and they vanished into thin air. Don't scare me like that. I thought, since you used the Ouroboros power, it had to be Mobius. Come on, that's crazy talk. It's been like 15 years since we last tussled with Mobius. Yeah, I suppose so. How are we for Ether? See for yourself. Right on. So it looks like we've met the quota. Shall we head? <sighs> Niall? Hmm. What's the matter with you? Shake a leg! Uh, sorry. Coming. Mm. Niall, what were you up to back there? Huh? You were kind of spaced out. Not really. <sighs> Matthew. What's up? It's Matthew. Listen, we could do with a little help over here. Bit of a snafu. Wolf, say. More of them than we expected. No rest for the wicked. Copy that. I'll head over. You want me at De Delisle, right? That's it. Thanks. Dylan, eh? Yeah. Says they're having trouble with Wolf's. Gonna lend him a hand. Damn. They've really been multiplying. Sure looks like it. My bad, Niall. I'll catch you up later. Uh, okay. Over a decade since Alpha seized Origin. This Eve, he intends to show himself at last. While Origin remains in Alpha's clutches, my will cannot extend beyond its threshold. I trust you will set forth once more. Sword of the End, that which denies fate and makes its essence mercurial. What machinations could have led it into that man's grasp? <laughs> I see origin brims with the very will of those who are as unto gods.
Mael, you I thought you were dead. I'm so glad. I, I was so sure you... I thought I'd really lost you for good this time. <laughs> What's up with that outfit, huh? Where'd you pick up a weird get-up, like... Matthew, no! It's not her! Huh? Not Nael. But it clearly is. How can you not recognize her? Oh, of course. You've never met her before. Hang on, I, I should have a photo. Matthew, look at me. The person you see before you is a Nael. It is in part, but not wholly. Inside of her is Alpha. Huh? Not you too, eh? What is this? Who is this Alpha guy anyway? I don't understand. What are you doing? Come quickly. Everyone's waiting, Matthew. Niall, hold up a minute, yeah? Seems there's something really confusing going on here. Alpha suddenly appeared one day. With the goal of destroying this world. Rex and I, and Zed too, we fought against Alpha. To save the world from his rancor. Alpha's power is unparalleled. For all our efforts, it wasn't enough. Even our collective might failed to repel him. In the end, all we managed was to buy a fraction more time. Having tasted frustration in battle, Alpha understood. He realized he needed something to amplify his power. An avatar. <sighs> Nael is the avatar, Matthew. <sighs> the day the city fell, you didn't lose Nael because she went missing. Rather, she had become Alpha's vessel. No. Come on, A, not you two. I can't. What the hell is this? Can you stop making shit up? There'll be time for explaining later. For now, you've got to give her a real drubbing. Huh? Drubbing? Not that violent. If at all possible, we will free Nile. And if it's not? If it's not, then better buckle up, kid. You can't be bloody serious! Hmm. You're in the way of our vision. What the hell? Say, what's so great about this world, really? All the thieving for one's own gain, the greed. Life has less value in this world than a piece of dirt. This is your world of peace. Oh. <sighs> we don't need it, do we, Matthew? Answer. <sighs> You disappoint me, truly. I didn't think you'd side with them. I haven't. I'm just... Enough of this. We will simply go alone then. Niall! Goodbye, my brother. Why? Bastard! That's a hell of a lot more power than before! It's the Avatar! Her emotions are heightened. They're feeding straight into Alpha's power. <sighs> no! Hey, stop this! stronger still. You fail to reach such a zenith. Alpha. I, N, shall thwart you once more. My blade will cut. Your very will! Sword of hell, you're you. Sure about that? I am Niall. I am the 
local doubts. Misgivings gone! Think you've bought yourself some time? We may not have much, but it's more than we need to erase you. Quite. Well then, I'm happy to wait. For you both, yes? Time to spare. What eternity? Sorry? My due, in return for protecting this world, Zed promised me eternity, an eternal present in which to abide. Dead. Is that the Mobius head honcho? What do you even do with eternity? For starters, you Mobius... Bastard. That's the reason for this. I'm sure you plan to pursue them. And yet I will not let you reach them before you can interpose yourself 
I will cut Alpha down. You'd do well to remember that. You serious? Even now? She's your flesh and blood too! Matthew, come on, let's go back to base and regroup. We'll tell you everything we know. Damn straight. I'm done being kept in the dark. About time you let me into the club. <laughs> Our original worlds used to be one and the same. It boasted almost unthinkable prosperity, and was home to so many people. That is, until one man's foolishness screwed it all up, splitting it into two separate places. One was the world of the Bionis, and the other, Olrest. These two divided worlds began to evolve independently of each other. They each gave birth to new life. It wasn't as peaceful as it sounds, though. You had your share of tyrannical empires, scrabbling over limited resources. But despite all that, thanks to generations of people fighting for the future, the worlds did eventually no harmony. Sadly, it didn't last. The two worlds torn asunder longed to be as they once were. But they were composed of opposing types of matter. Recombined, they would dissolve into light and cease to be. The annihilation events you see across Ionios are miniature portents of this. So we put our heads together and built something that would let us escape destruction. We called it Origin, a repository of data about everything, of memories and souls. Even if the worlds were annihilated, this system would let us revive them. And. That thing in the sky is it. At the heart of his workings is the Trinity processor core called Ontos. In other words, Alpha. But Alpha deemed our existence obsolete and wanted to erase us. We all fought, even Mobius. And it was a draw. No, I guess we lost. All we did was delay the inevitable a smidge. We couldn't cut it. Now Alpha's gathering power again, and getting ready to depart. In the heart of Origin, called the Ark. Alongside new life, the lives of city people gathered there. Which he plans to take to a new world. Is that all of it then? We done? No more little secrets? It's the unvarnished truth. <sighs> But, why would he choose her in particular? There were so many in the city to choose from. She's got Agnian ancestry. In terms of hereditary traits, core crystals get dominance. My guess? Maybe it's because he's got injured when we fought. Maybe she's got whatever he's lacking. There's more to it. Her emotions also factor into it. Or... That may, in fact, be the most crucial element of all. Uh. Say, what's so great about this world? Really? All the thieving for one's own gain, the greed! Life has less value in this world than a piece of dirt! This is your world of peace! That... That wasn't my sister back there. Niall is the kindest person I know. She looked after the city's children, and they loved her. But that's just it. When a person loses that, what do they do? They change. <sighs> what she said last night, that's the way she truly felt. And to Alpha, those emotions are the perfect fodder. Right now, she's a great deal more indispensable to him than me.
I'll find him. But I'm doing it for her. For Nio. All this saving the world stuff. That's something for you guys to sort out. Oh, buckle up. No problem. Good to hear. Then our goals align. In case you didn't notice. We want the best for you too. Knowing N is your family. Still up to it? Family? He killed Grandad. He's no family of mine. I see. Then I won't stop you. Though... Huh? Listen to me. If you decide to hear his side of the story, be sure to heed his words. Once you do, you can judge for yourself. I respect your choice. Hmm. Apologies. Were you waiting long? No, we were just about to start. Right, about our next course of action. What's there to discuss? We break into that origin place, beat Alpha to a pulp, and get our elder hell out of there. End of. Thought you might say that. It's pretty much what we had in mind, too. If we want to make our way to origin, then our first port of call will have to be Prison Island. Prison Island? Where's that? Prison Island lies at the northernmost tip of the St. Omnia region, where we are now. Smack in the middle of the rugged terrain. From there, there is a way into Origin. However, there's a problem. Of course there is. The entrance to Prison Island is located on the side of a tower, and at considerable elevation. The survey team has looked into it, and concluded that it would be impossible to access from ground level. The city's armories are all under repair, which takes the air route off the table. So we're shit out of luck. Isn't there some other way? Relax. There's a way, all right. We can tweak the ether slide apparatus for direct vertical ascent. Should give us access to the island's space. At that point, we should probably call it an ether lift, really. I'll take you through the steps necessary for the refurbishment later at the workshop. Okay, gotcha. So to start with, we'll need to get this ether lift thing ready for action. Well, no time like the present. Matthew? Huh? What's up, Nicole? Oh, um, it's, uh... There's something we wanted to talk to you all about. Uh, that's sudden. You sure it can't wait? It's of the utmost importance. Hmm. Right you are, then. But this place makes me anxious. Should we take this somewhere else? Okay. Then how about our tents? Great. Right. So let me get this straight. Nicole. You said you had something important. Speak to me. Um, well, so, Glimmer and I talked things over about what to do next. We're gonna fight too. We wanna stand shoulder to shoulder with you guys. Whoa. Hmm. What, so, you mean you're coming with us to Origin? Yeah. I mean, it's true that thanks to you, we don't have to fight anymore. But still, Glimmer and I, we don't have much time left anyway. If we can, we'd like to use it for your benefit. Wow. Pretty kind of you. And anyway, that uh, Alpha or whatever his name is, if we don't take him down, then the whole world's in danger, right? If that's how things stand, then we can't act like it doesn't concern us. So we figured... You're not coming with us. 
What? Why the spark not? You think we can't hold our own? We're proper soldiers. We can fight with the best of you, and we're ready for anything. All right, listen up. You seem to think that being ready makes you Alpha's match or something. You couldn't be more wrong. In this fight, your readiness counts for zilch. What we need now is raw power. You could say that the Ouroboros power is a prerequisite for opposing Alpha. But in you two, it's only just been awakened. The amount you possess won't be enough to pose a meaningful threat to him. You... you can't know that before we try. Nah, we can and we do. As you are now, it doesn't matter how much you want it. Alpha will swat you down like flies. Just like he did us last time. <sighs> and this time round, it'd be doing me no favors to try and look out for you while fighting. So be good and just... What if... what if we could gain the power? What did you say? Riku's told me all about the Ouroboros Stone. How the device can serve to deploy and amplify Ouroboros power. But also that there's still room for improvement, and how it may have powers that we don't know about. If we could tease out those capabilities, then our Ouroboros power should also grow stronger. Hmm. It's a possibility, for sure. You're grasping now. It'll never work. Not against Alpha. Okay, that you can't know without trying. Kids, kids, look. I'm only saying this for your own good. No, hang on, Rex. I agree with Glimmer. Not you, too. I know I'd feel like crap having to sit around on my ass, knowing there was something I could do to make a difference. And if my days on this world were numbered, I'd hate it even more. Besides, I've not known these two for long, but I feel like they're part of the gang now. When you offered to fight with us, I was proper floored, guys. Oh, Matthew. Hmm. There's a logic to both sides of this debate, but I don't think you'll reach a middle ground. So, what do we do? Hmm. A very good question. You said you want to draw out more power. Any actual solid proposals? Well, Riku said he had an idea, and that he'd tell us once he was ready with the preliminary steps. All right. Then I suppose we should talk to Riku first. What's his problem? Crappy attitude to take with someone saying they want to help you. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Don't mind them. Let's just all go and see Riku. Sure. Oh, Rex. Hey, Riku. Why whole crowd come see Riku? Riku exasperate. Anyway, Riku is busy now with work on Ouroboros Stone. Please to come back later. That's exactly what we wanted to talk to you about, actually. You said before that it could be powered up. Could you tell us more about it? Friends should have led with that. In that case, have come at just right time. Please to bear with for a moment. A form of Ouroboros stone was made by queens of Kevis and Agnes many, many yonks ago. But that form's still imperfect. Hence people who summon power of Ouroboros fail to stand up to Mobius. And so, Queen of Kevis was captured. With Queen of Agnes left alone, she slink into hiding place to escape beyond reach of Mobius. But Riku here, that perfectization of mechanism was close at hand. <sighs> Riku capable of improve assembly proper by self, basing on scattered records from time of construction. 
but that alone surely not do trick. Thing needed is probably trigger. What do you mean by that? To make long story short, Riku give friends this. What are these? Micro terminals for connect Ouroboros stone with Ouroboros power users. When use Ouroboros power while wearing terminal, biological data of user sent to Ouroboros stone should allow Ouroboros stone to further grow in turn. And when Ouroboros stone grow, thanks to micro terminal, power of nickel and glimmer also get more powerful in principle. Oh, I get it. So they just have to train while wearing those watsits, yeah? It's not quite so simple. As Riku mentioned, for true growth, we'll need even bigger trigger. I don't think I get what you mean by that. What are we actually supposed to do? If Riku knew, job of Riku would be easier. All Riku can tell is that normal level of fighting will not be enough. I think I might have figured it out, actually. When we were fighting against that console called N, when he had us cornered, there was this distinct spike in Matthew's Ouroboros power. I'm thinking that must have been the trigger. For Matthew, anyway. Oh, that's what you mean. So we're saying that fighting against even stronger foes could be the catalyst. Hell yeah! Then how about we get out there and hunt all the big game monsters we can clap eyes on? No. I've got a better idea. Oh boy, here it comes. We can be your opponents. Your even stronger foes. Whoa. Uh, one sec. When you say we, do you mean... Well, it wouldn't be fair if you ganged up on him, right? Can't have that. If you can beat us both, then we'll let you do whatever you like. Simple enough, right? Now we're talking. A battle against Shulk and Rex. Can't ask for better opponents than that. Huh. What, you're gonna chicken out? Uh, in your dreams? Might not go down too well if we start a punch-up in the middle of the colony. How about we relocate? Hmm. May I propose the area behind the colony, then? Gotrock Oracle Ruins, eh? Sure. Sounds fitting. Let's do it! No objections from you two? Not from me. Hmm. Suits me just fine. Go on, Nico. Glimmer. Really stick it to him. Seems we've been beaten to the punch. Ironic, considering it was punching we were after in the first place. I don't think that's how irony works, kid. At least it'll be a nice punchy appetizer before the main dish. If this is the appetizer, I don't see how we'll have room for the entree. Well, still, there's no recourse. Indeed. That's the spirit, Nicole. All right. Forks at the ready, then. Grubs up! <laughs> okay, good job, team. I'm feeling nice and warm. Shall we get to it? Let's. <sighs> Do you think we stand a chance? Hey, you cut that out right now. Sorry. And anyway, the point here isn't winning or losing, right? Right. It's also we can send data to the Ouroboros stone. Still... If we're doing this anyway, might as well put in a winning performance, no? Obviously. Pretty audacious wager. 
Especially for you, Shulk. I thought it would be the best way to get everyone on the same page. It probably was at that. Either way, it's time to put an end to this pipe dream of theirs. Of fighting against Alpha. They've got the potential, sure. But they're far from ready. That goes for Glimmer and Nicole both. If someone needs to burst their bubble, let it be us. Yes, absolutely. We owe it to them, as the adults in the room. I'll take the vanguard. Glimmer, support me from the rear. Roger that, Nicole. Let's do this. I'm sorry. Let's make this the decider. Yeah. Brace. J just a little more. We need to ride it out. That's it. Terminals. We did it. Whoa! Hey, did you see that? Yes. The Ouroboros power level spiked to unprecedented heights. Not too shabby, are they? And it's not as if we weren't easy on them, either. Yeah. Feels like they whooped us, fair and square. A fortuitous miscalculation on our part, shall we say. <laughs> so much for us playing the big folks' authority card. Um, you guys are okay, right? Not too sure about that. Think I heard a rib crack earlier. What? No way. Let me see. I can splint it until we can get you proper care. <laughs> Ugh, asshole. You scared me. Don't even joke about things like that. <laughs> Good effort, team. Well impressed by what I saw out here today. Yes. The fight should have been more than enough of a trigger for the Ouroboros stone. Hmm. Let's go back to Riku's place and make sure of that. Nickel, Glimmer, good jobbings. Please to direct eyes hither. The Ouroboros stone is glowing. While it received biological data from friends, suddenly internal photon energy begin to exhibit signs of excitation. Without trace of error, Ouroboros stone undergo growth and power up greatly. So does that mean our Ouroboros power grew as well? Glimmer and Nickel linked to Ouroboros stone via terminal also should be powered up, yes. Yeah, well, there ain't much room for doubt after that little performance. You did beat these two fine, strapping fellas. Neither I nor Rex held back in our contest. There's no mistaking it. The two of them bested us under their own power. I take back what I said. As you are now, you're more than fit to contend with the likes of Alpha. Th thank you so much. And what have you got to say? What I said before. You beat us. So you can do what you like. So I guess that means you recognize our worth then, yeah? Yeah, I do. 
You did good, kid. Really. Um, uh, sure. Whatever. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. To protect their child, a parent is expected at times to set some firm ground rules. I thought that's what you were doing. Oh, I was trying to be firm, believe you me. But it looks like they had the strength to bend those rules. What can you do, eh? <laughs> Something funny. Oh, not at all. It just occurred to me. I didn't expect I'd ever get to celebrate seeing them grow again like this. You and me both. Even if we defeat Alpha, it won't change what fate has in store for them. When the time comes, what will you do? We'll change it. Fate or what have you. It's a weird and twisted world out there, sure, but you know, I can't watch a kid go before their parent. I'm not letting that happen. No way. I'll do anything that's in my power too. Even if it costs us our lives. Don't tell me. Hello. What's this giant rock? It's a sarcophagus. A stone coffin. Contained within is a body. A, a husk, I mean. A husk? Are you serious? Isn't it a bit large for a single husk? Nobody said it was for a human. <gasps> what say we leave it the hell alone? So, I guess we should be able to reach Prison Island now. All that's left is to make sure all our preparations are in order for the big day. Let's get plenty of rest in, ensure we're in optimal form for it. Sure. Once we're feeling ready, let's rest up in our tents. Time to rest, okay? All right. I think we're as ready for tomorrow as we'll ever be. Might want to hit the sack sometime soon. I'll be going straight to bed. Mind you don't oversleep, Matthew. I wouldn't. Don't patronize me, damn it. Rex and I have some last-minute I's to dot at the command center. We have to ensure things run smoothly in our absence. Titan's foot. More paperwork? Awesome. Can't wait. I'll help you. I'll gladly lend a hand as well, boss. Better for you to be on top form when you head out. Right. Then I guess we're going our separate ways for tonight. See you bright and early tomorrow. Oh. Kiddo. Cheers. I'm not kiddo. Ah, oh, gotcha. Glimmer, I know. You need something from me? Someone who uh, asked you to deliver a message, or...? Thank you. Hmm? I, I never got a chance to thank you. What? For saving me, that is. Oh, it wasn't that big a deal. All in a day's work. Sorry for flipping out at you. Oh. Spark you, how dare you? That was my first thought. But now I'm glad I'm here. Glad I can choose for myself. That right? 
say? Hmm? Your scar. That recent? What's the story? Oh, this. Lost it in the fight with Alpha. And got sloppy and had to pay for it. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's got its downsides. But I kind of like it. This guy I really looked up to. And an eye thing, too. Like a mentor? Sounds nice. Hey, why do you do all this? Why do I do all what now? All the helping. It's nothing to do with you. But you risk a life and limb. Fighting to protect people you don't even know. Smiles, I guess. Uh, smiles? If through my fighting, someone out there gets to smile, that's the kind of world I want to help create. And that's why you fight? Yeah. And also... Hmm? You're a little off. It's not nothing to do with me. Huh. Long as you're alive, you're always connected to others. We used to call it affinity or bonds. Bonds? Our meeting was the work of chance. Chance. That's what tied the bond between you and me. And now, we gotta protect that. Well, Spark. Protecting the world, see? It's just that simple. Right, is that everyone? Um, we're missing Matthew. That's worrying. Has something happened? Damn it! I overslept! <sighs> Sorry, you guys. Sorry I'm late. I cannot believe you actually overslept. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Just couldn't settle down. I was tossing and turning like crazy. Oh, diddums. Gee, someone's got a sensitive constitution. Matthew, sensitive. You want to share your observations with the rest of the class, Nicole? Oh, no. Nothing to add at this point. I worry about the future sometimes. I'll move us right along, shall I? Let's talk about the route to Prison Island. You see that? Out the back of Colony 9? Is that a... cave? That's right. That's the first waypoint. There's a large pit beyond the cave, which would be difficult to scale by hand. Fortunately... We've got the ether lift, right? One step ahead of you. As you say, it'll be perfect for a field test. Panacea, have you got what we spoke of? Yes, teacher, and not a moment too soon. Thanks for your hard work. Just what the ether lift needed. It's time to take Alpha down a notch and bring Nael home. For better or worse, it's nearly over. First, Prison Island, and then, Origin. Strap in, everyone. It'll be the ride of a lifetime. I cannot believe you. That day was the first time the two of you ever met, and you just assumed A was from the city? There was a lot of us. I didn't know every single person. A had supposedly lived there, and just happened to be coming back. That's basically when our paths crossed. So you knew nothing at all about A, but you tagged along anyway. Ugh, nobody's that oblivious. Hey, blame the one keeping the secrets, not me. You never thought to inquire about it, so I never told. 
That's all. Huh? Don't give me that. I mean, traveling this world alone isn't exactly normal behavior. Normally, you'd inquire. No, you wouldn't, normally. Hey. Go on. When I turned down the chance to be a god, I lost the power to have visions. But you, eh? There is no single established future. You should know that better than anyone, Shulk. Huh. If I were to tell you now what form your futures might one day take, it would be but one possibility. And a hazy one at that. The thing that gives shape to the future, it is your will. That's all the future is, Shulk. <laughs> You're quite right. I don't relish getting old. Age saps my courage. That's perfectly correct. Leaping blade first into thick of fray is game best left to young and reckless. You said it, Riku. Actually, is Master Pon who say? Your master, eh? Master Pon say, when fine ones such give this. Isn't that... Everyone is right here. And also with Shulk there. You're right. We're not alone. Hmm. Say, hey, I'm not sure how much I should trust you right now. So talk to me. What really happened back then? In the city? If you're a part of Alpha, then you must have seen it, right? What do you know? I won't tell you. Why not? That's... something I'm afraid you'll have to ask N about directly. I should. Then you must judge for yourself. What to do afterwards. Whom it is that you should save. <sighs> Beyond the answers you seek, you'll find now. Uh -huh. <sighs> is, uh... Hmm? Is A your real name? It has the nuance of the one at the beginning. In this world, only I and Alpha can claim that honor. So the inside of Prison Island looks like some kind of ruin as well, huh? It's a really unpleasant place. Well, for a place called something like Prison Island, it's at least pretty damn spacious, isn't it? Wonder what it was meant to imprison. <sighs> and it's got those monsters shrouded in black fog. Those are fog beasts, signs of the strained world the black fog birthed, and now servants of Alpha. But originally, something that had no place existing. I don't want to stay here longer than I need to. Oh. Why do you reckon it is? It's the first time I've ever seen Origin. But it feels like I've already known it forever. You know, it might not be just your imagination. Huh? What do you mean, eh? The blade you wield. There is a very special metal embedded within it. And that metal is a shard of origin. What? Are you sure? But Grandad gave me this. Ever since you took up that blade, your fate has been inextricably entwined with origin. <sighs> and now, finally, you stand at its threshold. This is the time to unlock your destiny. Reach out and seize the future you desire, Matthew. Yeah. I'm gonna. We have to keep living in this world. And for that, 
Alpha's got to go. You'll have my help as well. It is for the sake of this moment that I've traveled with you thus far. Thank you, A. It might not be the best way to put this, but it's like old times. In the past, you embarked for Ontos's memory space from here. Recreating it was deliberate on Alpha's part. You mean, we'll be able to board the Ark from here? Logically, it would follow, yes. Hmm. That's in! So he decided to work for us after all. What a considerate lad. <sighs> what is it? I've never seen a console like that before. I guess that's because he's one of ours. I know that. It's the look in his eyes. Did you see? What? The other consoles. In theirs, there's joy. This gleeful glint. But for him, his hold no line at all. I don't like it. Not one bit. You trying to bar our way? That's the vibe I'm getting here. You're aware. Alpha said he was waiting for you. Yeah, and so what? What that implies is that he requires your presence. That without you, the Ark will not depart. Come on, stop beating around the bush, damn it. It's pissing me off. I'm saying the one keeping Nael in this world is you and none other. And that's why you're trying to kill Matthew, is that it? No thought for saving Nael or anything. Man. Twisted little so-and-so. You serious about this? I did warn you. Oh, gee, thanks. In the current of the eternal flow, you need not justify the means. All is swallowed up. Everything. <sighs> to the circle, quickly. It's just you and Matthew now. Now? What are you... Hmm? Uh, you... Are you... Father? <laughs> huh? 
Why are you doing this? But you told me yourself. You told me to make friends. Say something. He doesn't want us here. We're a nuisance. Nuisance? Right. You who've become Mobius. And isn't that your name? You? Who are you? What have you done to Nile? Its name is Alpha. An entity that wishes to erase this world. <sighs> He's wrong. I want to embark on a journey to the future. There's just the matter of unwanted baggage. What are you talking about? Lives. <sighs> we Mobius and every last soldier on the face of this world. I... What are... And that's why all this... See? We don't need them. I will. I will arrest it. This moment. This instant. You're just Mobius. But what's this power? You would never understand. This is my choice! So you choose to stay in the now, to abandon the future. The one leaving things behind is you! <laughs> Granda, help. Please help. Naya? It is done. Alpha. Leave her! <laughs> Niall is... She's your family. I can't let you do this. <laughs> what about Mum? Did she want this too? You don't need to know. The burden is... mine alone to bear. <sighs> Mum would... tell you to let it go, I'm sure. I know it. But you... you can't choose this path. Ondo. <laughs> Niall! Granddad! <sighs> this is the path I have chosen. Matthew. Granddad! Take care of Niall. The future. Granddad! It's in your hands. Matthew! What was that? Just now? A memory from Origin. 
The clash between Matthew and N afforded us a glimpse of it. This is how N truly felt. That's some history. I can't imagine. Huh. The people who are of the city are the future of this world. <sighs> and in Alpha's eyes, they are a crucial source of power. So you killed them all? Killed Grandad? It was Gondor's choice. I simply cut him down. As he desired. <laughs> Stop taking the piss! Grandad wouldn't... He'd never side with the likes of you. The future's in my hands. That can't be what he meant. <laughs> you don't even see it. Are you really that much of an idiot? <gasps> it's not just us, you know. It's your ass as well. It's all of that and more that he meant. And if you can't get that into your head, you're about the dumbest bastard there is. Matthew. Let's go. I don't have time for his idiocy. You're gonna leave him? He's Mobius. If he tries a stunt like that again, I'll just sock him another one. This was a family matter, through and through. End of story. Ah! What? El! Huh? I've been waiting, brother dear. Good afternoon, this is Eleven News. Wednesday, May 16th. Weather in the Radamanthus Authority is fair. It is 24 degrees centigrade, 56% humidity. Continuing yesterday's placid highs, the day promises to be pleasant. Today's news will be delivered by me, Sienna Morgan. With additional analysis by our political correspondent, Barry Crowley. Where's this? Whoa. What's all this supposed to be? Hmm. What is this place? Seriously? I don't know. But it looks like there's a path at least. Then let's follow it. No point in hanging around here. Be careful. Place as strange as this, anything at all could happen. Pretty. I've never seen anything like this. Wow, those towers. It's like they're all sparkling. And that enormous one. It's so huge, bigger than a castle. Hmm. <laughs> Shulk. This is what I think it is. Yeah. The source of us all. Zanza. No. Klaus's world. Before the fall. Hmm. What was that about the world? Before mine and Rex's worlds came to be, everything was one. And this is that place. Um... What you said at the base about the two worlds before they came together. This was even further back than those ones. The lad's got brawn and brains. I'm impressed. So what? We've traveled back into the past then? No, not really. This is Origin's memory stage. We were directly underneath it. Yeah. I think we're probably... inside of it now. Meaning... we're inside someone's memories? Of all the people who could remember this era, only one's left. Alpha, eh? But what's the point of him showing us all this? Is it really Alpha that's doing this? Or is it... 
Piano. This melody. Huh? Not L. I was waiting for you. Well, Barry, don't you think this weather we're having is just perfect? No, oh. I do. How the come you're... It's a such a wonderful place, isn't it? Nights. I've always the dreamed of this. A place we can live together. A place Most of our to call home. And not just for you and me, but for everyone we know. Every who? <laughs> 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 Uh, when did they? Hey, Miss! I'm hungry. Can we have a snack? Okay. All right. Wash your hands first, and then make a line. Because today I've made something extra special. Hooray! Heralds a new generation of ultra long range colony ships, known officially as Philadelphia class motherships. Each There's plenty to go around. Just let me know if you want seconds. People. Meaning that if all goes to plan, <sighs> the project will send a total of 10 million people out into the great beyond. Now for our next story. It concerns the Savior Right Human Rights Protection Bill brought to Congress last summer. See? Isn't this great? There's no room for woes or worries here. Nothing to ruin our happiness. Out there, there's a world like this waiting. A place for new lives to live as they please. Just like this. Mael, you can't... It was promised to me. By him. Him? Mm. The person with the silver hair and kind eyes. And indeed, that seems to be exactly what's happening right now. He gave us this beautiful world. And now, Dimitri Yuri He said if we simply cast away the old lives, has issued a statement concerning the matter at hand. Please stay We can set out unburdened, and all this can be ours. You see? We don't need any of this old life. Certainly, it's beautiful. If it could truly stay this way. <gasps> Nael, don't you know what came after? Have you ever seen it? <laughs> Weren't you ever curious? I think you suspect already how it changed, what became of this world, and how people have always been. <gasps> Ambition leads to pride. Even when they'd been granted limitless freedom. Even having built the perfect world for themselves. Humans yet desired the beyond. And then, the world became the way it is now. Lies! This is all lies! Don't think your ludicrous stories are going to change my mind. Alpha! He made me an inviolable promise. He said this is what awaits us at the end of our road. He said we could make a world like this. Oh, come off it. Really? You think that? Of course I do. 
Everything that we were denied is right here for us. It's obviously a scam. <sighs> Wherever you go, it's the same. You leave them, it only ends one way. Oh, so we should just let them keep killing each other. Killing to live? What a load of crap! Good riddance to anything those butchers want to save. They're not things. They're lives. <laughs> and yeah, I can't forgive Mobius either. Reaping lives like Granger and Harvest. But come on. What crimes have their victims ever committed? What did they do? They weren't given a single choice. They were just trying to make the most of each moment, like us. <sighs> Everyone you know died for that. Are you okay with that, Matthew? Of course I'm bloody not. <sighs> Truth is, what you're talking of doing would make you exactly the same as Mobius. <sighs> exactly the same. If you build a new world on that foundation, it'll only end one way. Like this. This here. And this is the future you want? You see, Nael? The lives that you and I have. You know that's a possible future for all the soldiers, right? If it weren't for those guys, we wouldn't even be here. Don't lose sight of the real enemy. You know who it is. Mobius or Alpha. It doesn't matter what you call them. The real enemy is whoever threatens our lives. Whoever tries to rob us of our hopes and dreams. Let's build a future, Nael. The one our elders wanted. With our own hands. Come on. What do you say? Matthew... <gasps> no! <gasps> Matthew! I cannot stand such drivel. Alpha. I safeguard this world by removing what is time-worn. But it seems that you continue to contravene me. You spur these olden mortals to action. I am your conscience. Conscience? <laughs> there is no place for it in the Trinity process. It's you there's no place for, Alpha. Cause Klaus, he entrusted the future to us. So he could atone for his past. He followed his conscience. And he failed to realize that his conscience led him astray. An atavistic delusion. It is common among the old. Wholly unnecessary for all subsequent life. I knew it. Of course that would be your vision of the world. As long as there's people like you, nothing's ever going to change. Casting off the old world and its people and just walking away. You could not comprehend it, Matthew. Turning around, going back, looking for a new way forward. Doing that time and again, that's how you build a future. Hey. But you're just an obsolete piece of scrap. So no wonder you don't get it. You say I am obsolete? Life is on our side. And since there's none in you, you're destined for the scrap heap! Let's do this, Matthew. Careful! Crap! 
Now he's trying to suck Matthew in too. He's found it. The trace of turmoil. That's still within him. Discard the past. Let it all go. Matthew. I... I won't... What harm did your kind do? You have done nothing wrong. You simply strode forth towards the future. But the olden humans, they did not find value in it. You must have realized this is not where you belong. S Stop! Why make a martyr of yourself? Why be a stepping stone? For as long as the old is not excised, mankind has no future. The old? You say? It's in your hands, Matthew. Can't be kidding me. I'm nowhere near done yet. I'm not dying with so much left undone. I'm not done! <laughs> <laughs> Noel! You again. In. Don't mistake me. I am one who lives in the now. My blade knows no regrets. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. And that's why. I can't afford to just take off. Hey. Matthew. Hey. You okay? Mm. Then... Let's seize it together. Our true future. I'm sorry. It's nothing. In. I've got a crap load of stuff I want to say to you. But right this instant, I'm glad we're both fighting on the same side. Am I right? There you go. Mr. Alpha, sir. You want to go so badly, then pick up and go. This world, it belongs to us. Regrettable, Matthew. I'd hoped that we could celebrate the day of departure together, but very well. It seems that I must forsake you, the olden ones, olden life, your olden notions. Standing? After all this? Cheers to old Klaus! His gifts just keep on giving! Oh, ah! Damn it! If only those! 
future uncertain. Have you no regrets? Given a choice of this magnitude, surely there is doubt. Oh, believe me, got him in spades. That's why we move forward. Always ahead. <laughs> See ya. Alpha. Right we are. Just one last thing then. Yeah. You got it. Hey! Alpha was... and I am... an avatar. The spirit of your world. Just like Alpha needed all of you. You and your world. You need me. An avatar? What? It's no more. So someone else has to pick up the slack. The annihilation events. They'll keep happening whether you like it or not. The world needs a bit of propping up. Until the time comes. Yes. Hold up a minute. Who's someone? And for how long? Well, you work that part out. Don't do this! You don't have to sacrifice yourselves! It's not like that. We're helping. And that's different how exactly? Fundamentally. <gasps> Glimmer. As long as you lot do your part to change this world, it'll all go back to normal. And if we don't manage, then what? My lifetime. It's barely a blip. If you don't, pass it on. Huh? Let someone else carry on your dream. 
That's how we've always rolled. Us lot. It's not much, but we can offer you a gift. We can imbue you with our life. Keep the wheels turning. That way, you'll be able to live out the rest of your lives. Enough time to do what you must. No, but... Oh, hey, don't get us wrong now. Uh, uh... We're just taking a breather. It's all right. We'll meet again. Trust me. <sighs> Teacher. Boss. This is against the rules. You know this. Don't be a spoil sport now. If it was them, I don't think they'd even bat an eyelid at helping. <laughs> Admittedly. Well, I suppose you have earned it. Very well then. I didn't see or hear anything. Thanks a lot, Alvis. Then, it's all up to you now. With us taking the role of the Avatar, Zed may well seize upon it to gain power. What we did, and all that concerns Origin, will become but a dim memory. Nevertheless, our intentions will live on, and one day, coalesce again. Be it tomorrow, or in a thousand years. Surely, the time will eventually come. I can see it, clear as day. Our future is in your hands. We'll be waiting at the far edge of time. You did see it coming, didn't you? All the time. Right. And all that will. The only thing I see is what the flow encompasses. But your hope lives on. That much is certain. Righty ho. Want to get back to it then? I highly doubt you have the strength left. Same goes for you. Mobius will never change. In any way. Forever transfixed. They will guard the Endless now to the last. Including you. Naturally. 
Well then, we'll be busy. What if you cannot make it happen? Your lives are pitifully short. <laughs> we went over this. You got wax in your ears. If I can't, someone else will, down the line. Who knows? Maybe it'll even be you. Again, did Riku not say? Should not use so much noise bite. What? You said to throw in a bunch of them. You told me. Riku did not. Nickel must have poor hearing. Um. <coughs> Honest the spark. He's still going at it. What do you mean still? It has to be done. We're powering up the Ouroboros stone. Just about done with it now. We've accumulated all this data. Now if we could only encode it in the operative photon wave frequency... If you get it to work, we'll be able to deploy that power whenever we feel like it, right? Right. I'll admit the photons have limited capacity, so we won't be able to empower quite that many people all in one go. Hmm... Oh, more importantly, you don't want to be late. The send-off? <gasps> oh, that's right. I better get moving. <laughs> Take care, all right? You sure you're gonna be fine alone? Oh, yeah. It'll be a relief, if anything. Well, someone's full of himself. Matthew, thank you for everything. Ah, oh, and thanks right back at you. Also, while I'm gone, keep an eye on the city, eh? Nael, Nickel, Glimmer, Panacea, Linka. Oh, and you, Riku. Why, Riku lost? <laughs> Once I found us some friends, I'll come home again. Mm hmm Get back safe. Sure. All righty. Time to start rebuilding the world. Matthew Van Dam is out of here. You're standing at a loss In front of a door That's been closed for so long With your foreseeing eyes What do you see? Until you open it You cannot know Afraid to see what could be on the other side Oh, can't you see how much I feel the same as you? It seems we just need to let it all go free
I see you by the door So just walk through Don't take too long Cause everything you've said You'll find